Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Aquarius. This is going to be for your March 2023. You're going to apply this to any of your replacements because this reading could be about anything. So we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for March. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Um, so apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post and when i go live um what else uh keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective aquarius people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, tell me about Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, over energies for Aquarius. What is surrounding Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know for March 2023 for Aquarius here? Knight of Swords, Five of Swords here. Leaper, Aquarius, Gemini. Seems like there's a lot of conflict here. There's a lot of competition here. There's a lot of jealousy here. And, you know, Aquarius, I do feel like this is you. This is you kind of like, you know, mind your own business, doing your own thing here, kind of like taking the high road here in a way. Uh, you know, I feel like you're in this energy of definitely man uh, manifesting here. You know, maybe manifesting change, manifesting new things here. You know, maybe there are people or in and around you that's trying to sabotage your proce process here. It could be friends, it could be family member, it could be an ex, it could be a lover. So just apply this to your own unique situation. We have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Knight of Swords, Leaper, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Five of Swords here. We have the Fool card here, Aries energy. Could also be Aquarius energy. Okay, tell me about the Knight of Swords here. We have the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Uh, one of the, uh, one thing I'm getting here that's gonna, you know, might resonate with one of you guys. Some of you guys might be adopting a pet or something like that, a dog, a cat here, okay? Um, I'm also feeling like you're just excited about new beginnings that's coming towards you or that you're manifesting here uh, for yourself here, Aquarius. Whatever that might look like to you, I feel like it's something that has to do with, you know, being adventurous, you know, kind of like, you know, just taking big risk here or taking some bold risk here for yourself. You know, with that page of wands, this could be an indication that you're starting something new here. Yeah, maybe you could be starting a new business. Maybe some of you guys could be going back to school here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here. We have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. Tell me about the Magician here. The Two of Cups here. What I'm getting here is that with the Queen of Cups here, the Magician and the Two of Cups, you could be cutting, cutting toxic cords here with people. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could just be with just other people. Yeah, anybody. Uh, so the devil, Capricorn energy and the two of cups here, the seven of swords. Why is the seven of swords here? We have the ten of cups. Tell me about the king of wands here, ace of pentacles here. What we have is I feel like you're leaving a toxic situation here. I just feel like there's a new beginning that's happening here for you. Could be a toxic relationship, toxic family members. These individuals have been for a very long time really draining your energy here. And I can see why you're excited about this new beginning that you're about to start here. You know, I do feel like you're taking a bold risk here because some of you guys are or have gotten comfortable with where you guys are at. And this is and you're realizing that this is not normal, okay? So let's see, what else do we have here for Aquarius? Outcome and advice here for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on here for um, March 2023? Ace of Swords, the Magician, Gemini, Virgo. We have the Seven of Wands. We have that world, let's see what this is, the two of wands, and the high priestess, okay. 
Ace of Swords and the Emperor here. Maybe this queen is a toxic person that you're trying to cut out. Yeah, it seems like you might be this masculine energy here. You know, I just feel like, you know, Aquarius, you're having a major breakthrough here. You could be leveling up here, you know, transcending. Send the wands and the worlds here. So there is a major cycle that's closing out here for you. And I feel like, you know, you are protecting yourself from dark entities, toxic energies here. Some of you guys might, be, might do shamanic work or that. Some of you guys might have found a shaman to help you transmute these negative energies here. The uh, Two of Wands here and the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces energy here. One of the things that I'm getting from this High Priestess, I feel like the, a decision that you're about to make is something that you deep down inside know it's right for you. Yeah, it seems like you're trusting your inner truth or that you're living or that you're trusting your inner voice here. Yeah, you're trusting your inner voice uh, voice here, uh, Aquarius. Ace of Swords. And this inner voice that you're trusting here, I feel like you're gaining clarity from this trust here. Ace of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor. Oh, wow. We have the Emperor and the Empress here. Okay. If you're dealing with someone toxic here, I do feel like, or toxic people, I do feel like you are kind of like praying for these individuals, sending these individuals healing energies here. Uh, it could be an indication that, you know, with the Emperor and the Empress here, you could be balancing out your feminine and your masculine energies here too, Aquarius. Tell me about the Seven of Wands here. You know, it's kind of like almost having the embodiment of almost like an, an, an ascended being or something like that, okay? We have the chariot here and the five of wands, okay? Cancer energy. The five of wands here. It's, it seems like there are people that's trying to stop you in your tracks, but you know, I, you know, figuratively, I feel like you're going to use that chariot and plow them down. <laughs> Tell me about the two of wands here. The Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the High Priestess, and the Moon. Wow. You're really connected, tapped into your intuition right now. And interestingly enough, someone from the other side is kind of like guiding you through your process here or guiding you through your gifts. Like, do you feel like this is like a sibling or something like that or a cousin? Okay. But it seems like there's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on here, uh, uh, Aquarius. Yeah, it seems like you're cutting toxic cords. You are, you know, working on kind of building your intuition here. Uh, you know, I, I feel like, you know, you're excited for new beginnings here. Uh, you know, I just feel like you're balancing out your feminine and your masculine energies. You're having these major breakthroughs. Uh, you know, cycles, major cycles are closing out. So, so uh, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.